Welcome back to another episode here on Fox Tech. In this video, we'll be covering how to get iMessage on your school iPad. Many students find it challenging to access certain features on their school-provided iPads due to restrictions. First of all, it's important to note that accessing iMessage on a school iPad is generally the same as on any other iPad. The primary difference lies in the restrictions that might be enabled by your school's IT department. These restrictions are typically managed through the screen time section in the iPad settings. To begin, you'll want to open the settings app on your iPad. Once you're in settings, scroll down and tap on screen time. This section allows you to manage and monitor the device's usage and apply or remove restrictions. If you have the passcode for the screen time settings, you can disable all the restrictions. However, it's common for school iPads to have a passcode that only the school administration knows. Without this passcode, you won't be able to make changes to the restrictions. Assuming you do have the passcode, or if the restrictions aren't too stringent, the best case scenario is to turn off all the restrictions. This ensures your iPad has full access to iMessage and other features. Next, to actually enable iMessage, you need to open the Settings app again and navigate to the Messages section, or you'll see the option to log in with your Apple ID and phone number. Enter your credentials to sign in and activate iMessage on your device. If you don't have access to disable the restrictions due to the passcode, it's essential to know that a school iPad is just a regular iPad with some limitations. You might need to reach out to your school's IT department or administration to request access to iMessage. They may be able to adjust the restrictions for you. To summarize, accessing iMessage on your school iPad involves understanding and navigating the restrictions set by your school. If you can manage or disable these restrictions through screen time, enabling iMessage is straightforward by logging in through the messages section in settings. Otherwise, you might need to seek help from your school's IT department. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Fox Tech C. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more valuable content. See you guys later.